A, a NASA-funded telescope, the Atlas Survey Telescope in Chile, first reported observations of the comet on July 1, 2025, to the Minor Planet Center. And NASA has been tracking and studying Comet 3i Atlas ever since. We're here today to give you the latest of what we know about Comet 3i Atlas and what we still want to know. But first, what is a comet? It's a small, natural, solid body that is a combination of rocky and icy material that evaporates as it gets warm, as it warms when it's close to a star like the sun. But to start with, I'd like to address the rumors right at the beginning. I think it's important that we, we talk about that. This object is a comet. It looks and behaves like a comet and has, and all evidence points to it being a comet. But this one came from outside the solar system, which makes it fascinating, exciting, and scientifically very important. This is only the third interstellar object like this that humanity has ever found. And a little bit more about the rumors. I think it's, I think it's very important, and I'm actually very excited that a lot of the world was speculating about the comet while NASA was in a period where we couldn't speak about it due to the recent government shutdown. I think it, what, I, what, I, what I took away from that whole experience and, and watching that as we were working during the shutdown was um, just how interested and how excited people were about the possibility of what this comet could be. Uh, there was a lot of speculation about what it could be, but what I, what I think is really awesome is that folks were interested in this incredible finding that we observed and that we have that that came from the heavens and what that what that means what it could mean about how magical the universe could be it expanded people's brains to think about what how magical the universe could be and I'll tell you here at NASA we think that every day and so it's really great that we were, you were able to join us while we were you know not able to comment during, because of the shutdown constraints about what that comment is because we think the universe is a magical place and we spend your treasure and we spend all of our time trying to make sure that we explore that and share it with you as, as much as we can. In fact, we want very much to find signs of life in the universe. In fact, just a few months ago, we were with you and we talked about what we think might be the, the, the signal from, from ancient life on the surface of Mars, from our amazing machines that have been roving the planet for 30 years to look for those things. That, that is something that's really important for us to, to, to learn about and discover. It could be an amazing discovery if and when we can confirm that. But 3i Atlas is a comet. So my colleagues from the Science Mission Directorate will go through the images in detail. But to, just to give you a peek, here's one of the images from the closest physical instrument we had to the comet, from the high-rise instrument on our Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, taken on October 2nd as the comet sailed by at a distance of 19 million miles from the instrument. You can see that Comet 3i Atlas looks like a fuzzy white ball. That ball is a cloud of dust and ice called the coma, which is shed by the comet as it continues its trajectory towards the sun. I'll leave it to my esteemed colleagues to share further details, and I'd like to introduce you to the head of NASA Science, Nikki Fox. Thank you so much. Um, it is such a rare opportunity uh, for us to be able to observe this interstellar comet. And NASA Science has been given this, inc this really, really exciting opportunity to do it, and literally from the moment of its discovery. Just like Amit said, comets are tiny cosmic snowballs. And by studying them, we can learn about the environment from you know, basically where they formed, where they came from. This one came from a different environment from our own, and so we're already starting to see some really interesting differences to comets from our own solar system. 3i Atlas, as you heard, is the third known interstellar object to pass through our solar system, the first one being identified in 2017. While these types of interstellar objects have long been predicted, we are just beginning to be able to find them thanks to the newest technologies with our network of Earth-based telescopes, which are designed to find small, fast-moving objects in space. The NASA-funded Atlas Survey Telescope, which made the discovery, is part of NASA's planetary defense network. Our telescopes are always watching the skies to keep us safe and in doing so, they occasionally make major scientifically interesting discoveries, just like this one. Right away, of course, NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office established, they studied it, and they established that 3i Atlas is not a danger to Earth. In fact, it's at least twice, uh, twice as far away as the distance between the Earth and our Sun. On October 30th, uh, the comet itself reached the closest it will ever be to the sun when it crossed just inside Mars's orbit, which is why the image that Amit just showed, he noted it was the closest instrument physically to the comet, because the comet was right inside the orbit of Mars. 
Earth was on the opposite side of the sun, um, which is about as far away as our planet can possibly be from Mars. It's been clear from the moment of discovery that the comet was going to pass on the opposite side of the sun from where the Earth is. However, it was also clear that its positioning behind the sun was going to make observations from Earth very, very difficult. And that is why we are so happy to have our incredible fleet of NASA science spacecraft all across the solar system. And boy, were they ready for this event. NASA's science assets um, on board our missions have provided the United States the unique capability to observe 3i Atlas almost the entire time it passes through our celestial neighborhood. Everything NASA science does is interconnected, and nearly 20 mission teams have been uh, working um, together to really rise to this challenge. 20 mission teams, by the way, and counting. Everything we're learning about the comet is possible because of the distribution of all of the different instruments on our spacecraft with different capabilities. And I'll note that for some of them, we've even pushed our scientific instruments beyond their normal capabilities, uh, beyond the things that they were designed to achieve to allow us to capture this amazing glimpse at this um, interstellar traveler. In other words, we can study this comet so well because we have many different assets in different locations observing things in different wavelengths, in different ways, with different instruments, each set of observations providing a different lens for understanding objects in the sky. So NASA's science team has kept watch on 3i Atlas for nearly its entire journey through the solar system for the first time ever. So I'll just quickly go through the timeline of which NASA spacecraft have observed the comet thus far, and we're still going. Uh, there will be more opportunities to observe this comet as it continues its journey through the solar system, passing uh, the orbit of Jupiter in spring of 2026. So the NASA assets that are gathering observations of 3i Atlas include Hubble, the James Webb Space Telescope, TESS, SWIFT, SPHEREX, Perseverance Mars Rover, Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, MAVEN, Europa Clipper, Lucy, Psyche, personal favorite, Parker Solar Probe, PUNCH, STEREO, and ESA, NASA's SOHO mission. And I'll note that Parker Solar Probe's data were just downloaded yesterday, and indeed, we did catch several glimpses of this amazing comet. The scientific community is hard at work analyzing these images, and everyone, as always, is welcome to take a look. At NASA, we embrace open science. We make all of our data available to the public 24-7, and we invite, in fact, we really want you to tell us what you're observing and what you think about what we're looking at. We're still learning even about what questions we still need to ask, and this, of course, is the scientific process in action. All the data go to a public archive. We get those images as soon as we're able to from all of our eyes in space. As always, I am excited to see what new things we learn about our friendly solar system visitor in the days and, in fact, the years to come.